Okay, so I got a question of how to do a board game type of movements where you, the pawn moves from one tile to another after you roll a die. So I'm gonna show here how to do it using the twin. First I copied the twin over into my project. Okay, I'm gonna make some tiles here, so I'll just make some cubes. So this will be a tile, this will be another tile. Tile, tile, tile. Okay, let's move this camera up so you can see better, right? I'm gonna make a little pawn, so I'm gonna make a sphere here. This will be like my pawn. Okay. I'm actually gonna change the color just so it's easier to see. I'm gonna make a little pawn material. Throw this here in my pawn and change this to like a red or something. Yep. That looks okay. I don't even need this this collider. All right, so I'm gonna make a script for the tile. I'm just gonna show uh, like a simple way to do it. But of course, if you're gonna make it with uh, roles, you probably want to make a tile manager that's gonna control the roles and have a reference to all the tiles. For this for this purpose, let's just make it like this. Uh, void on. Let's start by the pawn actually. So pawn. I'm gonna make uh, the pawn a public singleton. So static pawn instance. Just so you have an easy way to contact the pawn from the tiles. On awake, I'm gonna set this instance to this script. So I'm going to find, whenever I start my game, I'm going to set my player as the instance static. Okay, on the tile, I want to do like a own mouse down. So whenever I click on that tile, I want to pull my player there. So I'm going to go pound, transform. Actually, to use do twin, we need to go in using dg dot twinning. So pound transform dot do move. Uh, transform that position. So I'm telling it to move to this tile when I go into mouse down. All right. Um, cannot access my transform. Why? Oh, of course, spawn instance that transform. All right. Oh yeah, I also need to say how long I want this movement to be. So like, let's say a uh, 0.5 seconds. I'm gonna say uh, the ease is gonna be a uh, ease in out quad. So it's like very smooth is in. Okay. So I'm gonna click on play here. I actually didn't assign my objects, right? So this will have a pound script. And all of these cubes are gonna have a tile script. Okay. See, when I click now, he goes into that tile. Uh, let's now say I want to arrive on tile. Whenever the pawn arrives on a tile, I want this function to be called. I can say here dot on complete arrived on tile. So when the pawn arrives on tile, I want him to do a little shake position. He's like, whoa, I arrived on the tile. I'm crazy. Woo. Okay, so he's gonna do a little shake. Or maybe a shake scale. I like shake scale. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Boing, he arrived. Boing. <laughs> I love the twin. All right, so let's say I want to. Ah, that, that's good enough for now. I mean, pretty much you're gonna have to do this to get your tile. If you want to pass through all the tiles in between, you're gonna have to iterate and, like, oh, on complete, arrived in this tile, go into the next one on a far loop until you finally arrive in the last tile. So, yeah, that's about it.